It is now with great pleasure that I introduce you to the awarding of the Edmund Hustings Prize for Science. To be eligible, the research proposal must be of significant scientific importance, originally, original, sorry, internationally oriented, and it must be relevant and applicable to practice. Maastricht University is indebted to the Edmund Husting Foundation for this prize. May I invite Peter Frenet, president of the foundation, to the stage to announce the winner. Thank you, Professor Zoete. Ladies and gentlemen, this year's winner of the Edmund Hustings Prize is researching what way people adapt new biomedical technologies in a context of shifting and competing understandings of health, citizenship, and well-being. Those self-tracking technologies are hot in the fast-developing medical world. Would, for example, a mood scope help? It's a small device which has been developed in the UK. You can map your mental condition yourself on a daily basis. So how do I feel today? Am I scared, thrilled? Or do I dare to go out or prefer to stay in bed? What are the chances and benefits, the limits, or even the threats of such a technology? And is it great that a patient could share these data via the social media with a body or others suffering from the same disease or deficit? Based on these data, your body can decide in which direction to take action to help. Talking about solidarity. It's indeed the case that this technology in healthcare is contributing to changes in the patient's conduct simply because someone is paying specific attention to you. Let me quote what the jury wrote about the prize winner in its report. She has rapidly built a national and international name as evidenced by her numerous ties with international interdisciplinary networks and research groups. While visiting researcher at King's College, she helped to initiate the citizen participation in science and medicine network. This testifies to the great societal relevance of her work. Policy makers all over the world have put their hopes on personalized healthcare as a way to keep healthcare sustainable. For this hope to materialize, however, it is paramount that we understand how citizen users integrate these new technologies and how values like solidarity and autonomy are adapted to the new context. The 15,000 euro prize will allow her to map a preliminary overview of the Googleization of medical research. She herself will tell you more in about a minute. I have now the privilege to announce that the Edmund Hustings Prize for Science, Maastricht's most prominent scientific award, has been won by one of your most talented researchers from the Faculty of Arts and Social Science, Dr. Tamar Sharon. You will meet her now in a short video presentation. My name is Tamar Sharon. Um, I work at the philosophy department at FASOS, where I study the social implications of new and emerging healthcare technologies. Medical research has entered an exciting new era of big data, uh, based on the ability to collect and analyze vast amounts of data. But today's big data experts, they aren't university scientists, they're consumer tech companies. Companies like Google, Apple, IBM, and Microsoft, these companies all promise to revolutionize medical research. The Edmund Hustings Prize will allow me to explore the ethical and social implications of, of what we might call the Googleization of medical research today. Who will be in control of the big data research agenda when a handful of corporations with clear commercial interests yeah, 
start not only storing and analyzing medical data, but also shaping medical research itself? These are crucial questions that I think we need to be asking ourselves at this um, critical moment when we're moving into an era of big data in medical research. Dr. Sharon, on behalf of the board of the Edmund Hustings Foundation, I would like to warmly congratulate you on this prize. We all hope that it will contribute uh, to realizing your scientific ambitions. Please give Ms. Sharon another time a warm applause. <laughs> <laughs>